Wake up in the morning, what do I see? Dark clouds forming, the heavens over me. But I say hallelujah anyway. What's happening, YouTube peeps? Power has dropped us another trailer, giving us more clues as to what's going to happen on the last five episodes. It looks as though they're flashing back, flashing forward, just kind of recounting what happened throughout the day that led up to Ghost. The consenting opinion for a lot of people is that if Ghost dies, they ain't watching the spinoff as well as some people wish that instead of having a spinoff that's gonna deal with Tariq, that they would just make a comeback ghost story trying to get revenge on people. Don't look like any of that's gonna happen, but we'll break this trailer down frame by frame to let you know what clues we have found to keep you guys ready as it's getting ready to come back in another week. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on all my social media links just in case YouTube tries to pull me again. I am getting ready to do a podcast that's going to cover everything I've been doing on this channel, plus TV and movie show reviews. And also, you can still get that Power 6 t-shirt. Link is in description. Let's watch this trailer one more time, then we're going to pick it apart frame by frame. Because tomorrow's a brand new day. First frame we see Ghost, and this looks like it's the right before he is shot, just basically thinking to himself, I'm about to be Lieutenant Governor, everything's copathetic, I didn't handle all my issues. And then the very next scene, we see Tommy with one of the biggest silences I've ever seen, and his ass is looking very, very sneaky. What is he up to in this? I don't think we have seen this before, so I don't think this one is actually a flashback to something we've already seen, as though it looks like Tommy is creeping on somebody like he's about to destroy him, like he's something in the wild, a tiger creeping on a piece of meat, and then he pulls out that gun and he's about to shoot somebody, and you can see he's counseling Christmas with that Christmas tree in the background. So I don't know exactly where that's from. If you guys have a better idea, let me know. Then they cut the councilman tape, walking underneath a bridge. I think this is Councilman Tate after he found out the information about ghosts, basically gonna cut him out his deal. He's about to become Lieutenant Governor. Or this could possibly be Councilman Tate contemplating what happened when he found out ghosts was shot. You guys leave me comments on what you think this clip is. Next one we see Tasha in their old home in the sky rise. Because everything is not shot up, I'm not really sure what the time frame is of this one. You see, you remember Tommy went in there, he shot the place up to kill Proctor, and this doesn't look like it's shot up, but the home looks empty. So this could very well be after they cleaned up everything or right before Ghost got his stuff out of there. I'm not sure, but you guys leave me comments. Look at the expression on Tasha's face. She's got that expression on her face as though she's planning something. And we know on this season, she's very conniving. Now this particular person, I have no idea who he is, but I think this is a big reveal. Whomever this person is could be tied to a whole lot of people. It could be Zig, it could be Quentin. It could also be somebody chasing Tommy because if you all remember, Proctor said to Tommy, this ain't over. This is far from over. And if you recall, when Tommy and Ghost was in their last situation together, someone was shooting at both of them, not just Ghost. They was shooting at both of them. So it leads you to wonder, who is this person? And he is someone that popped up in this trailer a couple of times. Next, we see somebody with a picture of Paz and Angela, American flag, a candle, and I just don't think that this is Paz, but I want you guys to leave me comments. If this is not Paz, who is it? Who could it be? It could be Paz, but I don't think it is. 
But I want to know who you guys think that person possibly is. Then you see somebody burning up evidence. I don't really remember what this was from, if they've already showed it, but somebody is burning up the sheets and I'm not sure we're going to figure out until one of the next episodes what those sheets burning came from. Now here we see your boy Dre, as some of y'all like to call him snitch ass Dre, letting out a puff of smoke. Um, this could be a flashback when he was getting ready to take over and be the new drug kingpin. The next scene we see, this is cl clearly a flashback to when Paz was at the hospital when Jamie popped up when they brought in Angela and she's looking sad and distraught. And then the very next clip is this Tommy bending over to pick up that Tommy gun. Someone is shooting at him and as you can see, he's taking out somebody whose boots is on the ground in that particular clip. Then we flash the councilman tape with that same outfit on from earlier in the trailer getting faded. Again, I think this is after he found out that Ghost basically cut him out the deal and Ghost was getting ready to be Lieutenant Governor. And Councilman Tate is just getting wasted, man. He's confused, he's sad, he's upset. He feel like his world is crumbling and he just wanted to go let off some steam. Then we see Ghost and Tariq having an interaction and we've seen Ghost and Tariq get into it a couple of times, but I don't think I recall a scene where Ghost took Tariq and slammed him on a table in this manner. Correct me if my memory is wrong. I've seen him get into it with Tariq at their apartment. I've seen him get into it with Tariq at Truth. I've seen him get into it with Tariq at his other apartment, but I never recall him slamming Tariq down and getting on top of him like that. You guys leave me comments. As you all said, the shooting situation that involved Ghost and Tommy and the person that was dead was Cedric the Entertainer. Where well, here he is. It's Cedric the Entertainer with this other guy who possibly was the other person that was in the shooting with Tommy and Ghost when Tommy got away and the other shooter got away. This is possibly the guy that got away. But also it could be the guy that we've seen throughout this trailer wearing a hoodie that we don't know who he is. But apparently this is definitely Cedric the Entertainer that we've seen dead. And who hired them? Who are they working for? I guess we'll find out in these next episodes. Then we have bloody feet and socks, and I think that's a man's foot. But what is this from? Is this tied to those sheets that was getting burned up? And where is this located? I have no idea what this is about, but I want you guys to leave me comments on what you think is going on in this situation. Then we see the back door of truth, which is possibly whomever went in there and shot ghosts approaching the building, getting ready to go in and do their business with ghosts. Then we see someone they dropping on the scene. This young lady plays a lot of roles where she works with Italian mobsters. And here is the big question. Who is she talking to? Possibly Elisa Marie. A lot of people are speculating that this young lady had ties to Benny. Um, she knows Elisa Marie. Some people have speculated that she's tied to Vincent. What we do know is that they've got her with that Italian style, the dark hair, the hair pulled back. If I had to put money on it, I'm definitely going to say she's tied to Elisa Marie over Vincent. She's definitely somebody's Italian mobster. It's just a matter of which one she is. With Proctor telling Tommy it is not over, and now Benny is dead and Elisa Marie is just dangling out there, I think the smart money would be on she is somehow another tied to Cousin Benny. And if not Cousin Benny, maybe she's tied to Proctor and Elisa Marie, and she could be the one that's putting a hit out on Tommy. From there, we see Cooper Saxon. This is the only time you see him pop up in this particular trailer. And this is probably just a flashback to when he was trying to get ghosts and he kept failing. The common thing with Cooper Sacks is that his ass is just a failure. Then we see Tommy. Someone is shooting up Tommy like he ain't never been shot up before. You see that big gun? If you remember earlier in the trailer, I showed you guys, Tommy was picking that gun up off the ground after he had shot somebody. And here he is again with that gun taking fire like he's in Vietnam. Just leads you to believe who got the kahunes to be attacking Tommy. Then we see punk ass Tariq look like he is possibly leaving truth and looking back on something. 
This is the part where I feel like they want you to highlight that he is possibly in on the shooting that leads to Ghost being shot. Then we see the lady that is teaming up to be the governor with Ghost to be Lieutenant Governor. And this is one of her rich donors. I forgot his name, but we've seen him this season. He's her biggest campaign contributor. And I'm wondering if they're looking at something that shows Ghost got shot on TV or Ghost is shot. And she looks like she's very concerned because Ghost was gonna be her affirmative action person on her ticket to be governor of New York. Then we see bitch ass Dre with one of his workers running from someone. And I mean, you see the look on his face, this brother is scared to death. Someone is after them to take them out and it just leaves you to wonder who is it? Who is chasing Tommy, Ghost, Dre, and Dre's people? Somebody got double crossed pretty bad. Then we see the same mysterious hooded person shooting at a car, shooting up the road. Who is this person? Who is this hooded person that we believe possibly is chasing Tommy, chasing Ghost? And it's possibly the same person that Dre was running from as well. Then we see what I think is a flashback to Paz in the hospital when Angela died. And that's pretty much just a clip from earlier in the season, very first episode. Then check out this cat, y'all. This is Elvis from The Cosby Show. He's up in this joint, looking all swab and debonair. What is his role? Is he a new cop in this whole thing? Is he some kind of FBI agent? If I had to put money on it, the way he's dressed, they're bringing him in as someone who's possibly another FBI agent, another cop, something to that effect. And then the most telling part of this trailer to me, who got the gahunes to point a gun in Tommy's face other than Ghost? Who is this? This is that mysterious person that has been throughout this whole trailer in very fast clips shooting at everybody. I can't wait to find out who this is. And do you all think that this is it for Tommy? A lot of people feel like for Tommy, there's only two ways for him to go. Death or jail, and I can't see them having Tommy go to jail. Tommy, for all he's done, is probably gonna get taken out by someone in the Italian mob connected to Proctor. I think that's gonna be a promise that's gonna cancel Christmas on Tommy. And then we see some cars crashing into each other. I can't even tell what kind of cars those are and who would be crashing into who. So we'll just have to leave that to you guys, speculation in the trailer. Then as we start to round the trailer down, we see Ghost turning around to look at whomever got in Truth to shoot him. And then they flash to a clip of Truth and then they turn out the lights on that Truth, tra that truth sign as we see Ghost fall into his doom, which means he's not dead, but he's shot. And if he dies, are you all really not gonna watch the show? Let me know what you think about this trailer recap, things I missed, things that I didn't get right, and what you feel like I got right in this trailer. Are you ready for the new final five episodes? It'll be here before you know it. One more week is all we got. I can't wait to see. Follow me for my reviews and be ready for the Life Gains Podcast. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life gain. Follow me on all my social media links. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.